Hi, I'm Eric, and this is my garage. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Eric's Guitar Garage. Well, we've been working on this neck for number 10 here. And what I've done so far, we've got the neck uh, profiled with the template. So we ran that through the router table yesterday and machined it all up real nice. So it's got the correct uh, profile to it. And then after that, I took a piece of uh, quilted maple veneer and uh, glued it back, glued it to the top of the headstock. So what we're gonna do now that it's all dry and everything, I'm going to uh, carefully take it over to the bandsaw and I'm just going to trim it, trim around the edges here. Then I'm going to put it in the vise and block sand it to match the headstock. And then we'll, we'll go from there and then I'm going to sand this thing to about two to three thirty seconds thin and make a real nice thin veneer for it out of the top of the headstock. Basically, just trim the trimmed all the all the excess off there. And what I'll do is uh, I'll probably run this. We can do this little. We can do a little profile here, you know, around here, real careful, and just run it around there, chase it, and then I'll finish. I'll finish it up in the vise. Just block sand it flush to the headstock. And we'll have a nice veneer, and then I'll have to. Uh, I'm gonna thin this veneer out with just a. Hand, hand block, sanding block, and just sand it down to about two, probably three thirty, no, no less than two thirty seconds thick. You know, that's perfect. The headstock, the headstock itself, the mahogany is nine sixteenths thick. So, you add, you add a couple of thirty seconds. It's not too bad. It's good. Sanding the top of this headstock veneer to match the profile to, of the headstock itself, and then from there we can we're going to take this and we're going to level this down. So I'm just I'm just doing a little sand in here just to match. We're going to match. square you know there's sand and sometimes you have a tendency you can do this you know a little wild maple is a little a harder wood than the mahogany so that's why it's taking so long we're just going along here and just matching this up it starts blending right in though patience <laughs> sanded the whole thing out to match the, the headstock shape so now the next step to do is being that it's this is about an eighth of an inch thick we're going to bring this down to about 230 seconds maybe three and uh, that'll be our veneer beautiful veneer if I get this wet you can see how pretty that's going to look in the end you know got that nice quilt going on there what up? And what this is eventually going to be, it's going to be dyed like a medium green color and then a blue, very light blue burst around the edge. It can be a Caribbean burst and that'll be the same as on the body as well, on the quilted maple on the body. It's going to have a Caribbean burst. It's gorgeous. What I did here uh, yesterday, if you can see this top, this is the quilted maple top and what I did was I, I joined the two pieces by putting them together so you see the face of the pieces, two quarter inch, a quarter inch thick is what it is. But what I do is I take the two pieces like this and I, I bring them around to where you see the faces and you gotta match the two pieces, you book match them. What I, and the way I did it is I put it up on, I got an old, this piece of metal here, this is an old, from an old table saw, it's perfectly flat. So it's great for this kind of application. It clamps it down perfectly flat to the work surface. But what I did initially is I took this work table and I clamped it up here on the workbench and I took the two pieces and I clamped them down and I took this piece of wood here 
This became basically a fence for the router and I ran my little router, it's like a little Bosch laminate type trimmer router and I just used that edge and I mounted these pieces along it underneath it just outside of this so then I ran the router along it and it made a perfect perfect edge to join the two pieces together then I just lightly sanded it. So we're going to unclamp this right now. This has been drying now for about 24 hours. So I'm going to take these, we're going to take these clamps off. So the way I do it, I clamp it, take three boards and I clamp it downward. And then these, these clamps here, push it inward, keep it all together while it's drying. So you got a downward and inward type thing going on. Positive join. So we just, just kind of tap them, you know? No harm, no foul. We're gonna sand all this free anyways and scrape it. There you go. No, no problems, huh? top has got a slight bend to it but not to worry because when it gets when it gets laminated down to the mahogany blank it's going to go flat anyways it's not going anywhere is now a, a joined top and I'm going to scrape I got to scrape this glue carefully carefully it's now like one unit you know sanding the glue off about it really. We're gonna sand this. Let's try it out. What I'm doing now is I'm just sanding the glue away and getting this thing real nice. So this are our quilted maple top, quarter inch thick top, that's gonna be uh, veneered onto the, uh, the uh, mahogany. We got a one piece solid mahog mahogany body blank. So this whole thing will be an inch and, a, inch and three quarter thick. And here's our template. And what happened here, just a little, we got a little chip there, but magically, <laughs> where it is, I can put this template when I, when I go to draw this thing out, it can actually be right where a pickup, the pickup will be. So you'll never even see it because it'll get cut out anyways. So it doesn't matter, it's fine. It'll be just fine. Hey everybody. Well, we're at a close for today. Uh, just quick, briefly explain what I've done here. Um, yesterday I, join the top together, the quarter inch quilted maple top. And uh, today I just basically sanded it, leveled it out, got all the glue off. So this will be the underside that will be glued to the mahogany body blank. This will be the top. This is a 4A grade quarter inch thick top. Real nice piece from, uh, from uh, Northridge Hardwoods up in Washington State. They have real nice, nice product. So that's about it. So next week we'll uh, we'll glue the top down to the body.